Hi, I'm Rob Gibson, owner of Gibson's Photographic Studio in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Today we're going to make an ambrotype, a positive image on a glass plate, exactly as it was done during the Civil War. First, first solution we're going to put on the plate is called collodion. This is a mixture of nitrocellulose with ether. It was actually used as a liquid bandage during the Civil War also, and uh, still is used for that today. We add iodides and bromides to it. This is called flowing the plate. Come in front. What I'm doing right here is changing the stops to adjust the amount of light that comes through the lens. Those are known as waterhouse stops, and basically they work the same way as an f-stop does. Here we go. Nice and still, please, and counting. Okay, there you see our plate. You notice how it's glowing white. That is from the silver nitrate that sensitizes it. We put it into a uh, empty tray, and then in one smooth, quick motion, we cover it with our developer. That's a mixture of uh, ferrous sulfate. So iron sulfate is the main ingredient in that. We're starting to see our image come up. Notice you see her face first. She has on a dark dress, so that will be the last thing to come up will be the details in that. I want this to develop just a little bit further, right about there. What we do is quickly douse it with water. That's our stop bath. Okay, what we're doing now is taking the plate out of the water. We put it into our fixer. This is a bath of potassium cyanide. What happens is the cyanide will take and dissolve all the unexposed silver. Because it's an aggressive fixer, what we'll do is actually take it from a negative image into a positive image right before your eyes. The uh, last step of the operation here is varnishing. What we do is we actually coat the plate exactly as we did when we poured the collodion on with an amber bead varnish made from a special formula that we use whose main ingredient is gum sandarac. And here we have our finished ambrotype, which can be displayed as any other photograph. These will be around for hundreds and hundreds of years.